Can you hold it? Dummy is your Madden Bro, what champion. is up with these no, guys? Be super bummer, dude. Oh. That's tough, T.Y. Oh, hey, am I supposed to show you my team, bro? Matty Boxing, we won our first primetime boxing match last night, boys. Those that missed it, infield in here. Is this Quan? Is Quan up? Oh, Quan's a lord. I don't know who got at me right there. I really, I truly don't. Oh, we tie it! We tie it on some bullshit! We are the Guardians! Oh my god! Let's go! What a choke job by the Yanks right now, dude. I mean, how did dude drop that, though? Like, I mean, the pitcher did what he could, like. Oh, you got it. Yo, the first baseman got to be more athletic than that. I can't hold you, bro. Brady sucks. Yeah, Brady sucks. Seen all I got to see. Brady sucks. I just gotta, like, I don't gotta guard. If I have a deep blue, I don't gotta guard the fucking back of the end zone. Get me the fuck off of Brady so fast, dude. Brad, I can't even begin to fucking scramble, dude. I, I swear to God. I mean, if you just like, like, how are we not guarding that, dude? It's just like, this just is the most comfortable player of all. Like, dude, he's just no pressure in this shit anymore, dude. Fuck, man. This shit is like all fucking day, dude. Thank you, man. Fuck. Dang, you trapped something.
Fuck, man. DK. Dog, stop letting him throw that shit. Bumble, 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 bumble. Let's go, man. We gotta try to just seam this shit up again, don't we? Like, what the fuck else we gonna do here? Oh my god, and he just threw the worst. Yo, Naylor just threw the worst fucking ball to second base. Oh my god, dude. Did they get another one on that? No. Bro, Naylor just, that's like how Matty Ice throws. Duh, like that was the worst throw to second base, dude. Like that should have been a free double play. And the pitcher didn't cover enough? Like how was the pitcher not there to field the ball though? Like did you see the replay? Like Class A wasn't even there. Yeah, he was scared as shit. We lost. Cleveland dead. Oh my god, dude. Just gave up way too many pulse routes down the middle. Like, way too many. Way too many pulse. I'm worried about the way too much little shit. I'm trying to how to defend shit under 10 yards right now. I mean, there's just no way you got that bagged right there, bro. I, I mean, I mean, the zones did nothing, but like, I mean, I just trusted you would get open and I mean, just fucking strap. Overthrow Brady, let's go. Screamer, come on. I mean, we blocked fucking nobody on that run, dude. Yo, big Christmas, bro. Skimbo, you're not wrong. Nah, Skimbo, not wrong about that. Skimbo, not wrong about that. I can't lie. I don't know. I think I'm with Skim on that. I think I'm with him on that. I think I'm with him on that. I think I'm with him on that. Shit, Crosby, I could. Hell no. Let's go. No fucking way. You hold that.
my god, he threw it! I mean, he hasn't played bad defense, though. I, I got fumbled inside the five. I'll do a pick inside the ten. So, I mean, I guess, I don't know. I should have ran it back. What the fuck am I doing? He's switching defense, 6 1 or double A. Such a bad timeout, dude, on first down. With the situation in the game, holy shit. I just can't believe in this situation you're just not guarding the flat. Like this is just such like a bad like mental rep. Like what? Do, like, how do you not guard that? I, if I get five more yards, the game's over. That's why like it's hard to kick a field goal to tie the game up there. Like it's really hard to do that when there's like four minutes left and you're kicking the ball off. Like you kind of got to go for a touchdown there. I do like Eckler a lot, dude. Papa John's tonight? Ooh, Papa John's and Silent Hill could be a movie. Look, you keep mod, you apologize to Juicy, everything's happy, go lucky, and we get pizza and, and a movie tonight. Try to kick this high so we take more time off the clock. Might have got another second. Hopefully he returns this. I mean... Took four seconds off the clock to get six yards, so. Oh, I knew that was a dumbass timeout. Yeah. So you never called timeout. That was a dickhead timeout. I mean, I would have played the game different if you had timeouts. If you had timeouts, I'd have played the game different way. But it doesn't even matter. Even if you give up the first down there, it's worth it's, giving up the first down is 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 better than using a timeout there. We're trying. I'm trying to help my man AMZ. He's new to the channel. I'm trying to really just start playing ranks. Okay, 25 defense. I run nickel three three and dollar three two. All right, AMZ, you got to understand. So you like blitzing linebackers and coverage linebackers you got to know listen when it comes to the linebacker you got two types of linebackers all right now the real nfl will tell you sam will mike backer edge backer Ed, no this is how madden works right you got coverage linebackers and then you got pass rushers your pass rushers are your tj watts your khalil mack who else chat michael parsons right like even though he's at the end in the game but who are the linebackers that are pass rushers in the game that are like pass rusher nfl dudes Obviously, Frankie Lubo is one of them. And the best way, AM, for you to figure this out, Bose, Bose is kind of, I mean, he's a linebacker, I don't know. LT, Lawrence Taylor is a great one. Now, this is what I'll tell you, AM. The best way to do this is you can look at a card, and Frankie Lubo, you can see his archetype. He's a speed rusher. Those are the dudes you want to have rushing the quarterback, right? So Frankie Lubo is speed rusher. Over here, Chanel. He's a run stopper, so he's more of a block shedding, like tackler coverage guy, more than a pass rusher. You can get power rusher or you can get speed rusher and they'll both rush the quarterback pretty well. And what you really wanna look at is their attributes. Their attributes will tell them what they're good at. Some guys are good finesse move. That means they can do like spin moves and quick swim moves. Some guys are good at power move. That means they could bull rush. They can one stiff arm you like Reggie White. So you gotta really know the difference in your players right here. Like, do I have a power rusher? Power rusher, Arakpo. Arakpo is a power rusher. He's gonna have a higher power move, 89 power move you see right there. So that's what I mean. So when you're picking what linebacker you wanna cover and which one you wanna uh, blitz, that's what you gotta look at for the most part. And then you got Drew Tranquil. He's another outside linebacker. But he's pass coverage. As you can see, he only has 53 power move and 80 and 60 finesse. He doesn't have good in those ratings.
I gotta slow down. I mean, are, is AM is my man AM picking up what I'm putting down? So you got any more questions? Now is like you got full. This is full transparency that nobody else in the chat ever gets from me right now. Only you. Nobody else. Normally I curse people out and kick them out the chat when they ask dumb questions. But you, you got free reign. All right, M Villa. Who are my favorite three rushers? Okay, first time chatter also has free reign. That's how it works here. Um, I feel like every single team should have this guy right here. All right, I've tried to play without him. I've tried to go use Michael Parsons since he came out. You need this guy right here. He is the best defensive lineman in the game. He's must have. All right, because he has this one ability called double or nothing that glows. It costs you one ability point, but you need to put him somewhere on your defense, that one AP. All right, this guy needs to be on every single team. He is, I would I would venture to say he's the best defensive player in the game simply because of that ability and he's he's unique. There, there's one other player like him and that's Mean Joe Green who's a little bit slower. So I think this guy is a real important, real important player to your defense. The other guys, I'll be honest, I don't think it gives, I don't really give a shit. I've never really noticed the difference between, as long as you get guys that are the same rating, like, would, would, do I think Max Crosby is better than Jason Taylor? I mean, maybe he's a little bit better. I, this is my point. If I was a casual player, I would not spend my money on that type of upgrade on D lineman. I think all of them, as long as they're, they're comparable in their overall rating and those finesse and power moves, I feel like they're going to do the same thing for you. If I, if I was coming up, I would, for me, I would always prioritize my wide receivers and my DBs as far as the money I spend because those guys really run the most and speed is the thing you got to pay your money for so the dudes that run the furthest in speed is more apparent those are the guys you spend your money for that's how i feel mm. i mean as you can see right here i only really use safeties as sub linebacker i do feel like you can use linebacker now you can use linebackers now like they're not nerfed but the speed that you get with like an ed reed and a justin reed they're a little bit faster and at the end of the day, when you're using those guys running around, sometimes that's what matters the most. Uh, there's arguments to be made that some linebackers are bigger, taller, and they hit harder, they block shit better. And if you're more comfortable with the linebacker there, there's no downside outside of maybe they're not as fast and as quick as the safeties. And maybe man, if you man, I don't really man up the linebackers or anything like that. Maybe they'd be better if, you know, it's a, it's a safety. But I do see a benefit in having a big linebacker there. And later in the year, when big linebackers come out, they will be used sometimes as well.